Hey guys, Tron Hero the Grid here. I decided to uh, uh, make a video of me drawing something again. This time it's going to be a little more complicated than the cat that I drew last time. Um, I'm going to draw a character from my fan fiction story, which I started reading on YouTube, but since I'm a terrible reader, I didn't continue. I read the first chapter, and then I'm like, bleh, so I decided to, you know, de delete it and just move on. But anyway, I'm still writing my fan fiction story, and here um, is a character I have in it. She's the main character. Um, here's what she looks like in the third book. In the first book, she's wearing the original Tron outfit. Second book, she's wearing her Battle Grids outfit. But in this one, she's in a, um, a renegade helping Beck um, in Tron Uprising. Well, anyway, here she is with her bit and her little computerized cat, which is made, um, this is interesting, this cat. She is made of white particles, and she's not, a, and pixels and stuff, and she's not exactly there. But the pixels and our light particles form together to make a cat. I don't know why I thought of that, I just did. That would be cool. Well, anyway, I'm going to draw her in action, and when she's in action, because she's a renegade and she has to hide her face so she can have a normal life, when she's not being a renegade, she wears a hood that shadows her eyes. But when she's fighting, I had the problem of what if she's running forward and the hood blows back? Then I got the idea of giving her a helmet that re um, that she will res under that hood. So she's like that when she's not fighting. When she, when she is fighting, she'll res a helmet around her head, and she'll still have the hood. And she, It still looks pretty cool. Well, yeah, I'm going to draw her in action. I'll be doing this from a view of a guard, basically. Oh, and I made this a double-breasted coat because I just love double-breasted coats. Anyway, I'm going to do this from the view of a guard who is fighting her. And it's going to look pretty cool because I've, I've actually drawn this before. But, see, here's the original drawing. I'm going to draw it again. Um, it, um, the boxes around them and stuff. It's showing the guard scanning them. I'm going to leave that out because when I showed this to, to my friends and stuff, they're like, what? So I'm going to leave this junk out, and I'm going to hopefully shade her coat in better. I'm going to draw her doing the same battle scene, but not with the boxes around everything. And so maybe people can get it better. Anyway, I'll be playing Tron, Up um, Tron Uprising soundtrack on my laptop. Um, because Tron Uprising soundtrack just sounds cool, and... She is basically doing stuff that would be in a Tron Uprising. Oh yeah, and I have a funny Tron picture, like, Neon Jeff Jedi Jeff Bridges, your argument is invalid. Well, anyway, so, I'm going to start drawing now and stop rambling, and I'm going to play my music. There we go. A lot better. So, I always start with drawing the head. That's what we're going to do. Eh. This might take me a while, people, because I am a, it, I'm a good drawer, but I'm not the best, and it takes me a while at drawing people. Her head facing the wrong way now. See, I'm ar I get aggravated with my own self when I'm drawing. I love this song, but you can. I know this was a, this is a bad camera and you can't really see what's what's going on here, but I just got her head done. I'm going to look back to my reference, see how I got her hood, and start drawing her hood around her head. I'll, I'm sorry, I also make very light marks. I'm going to see if I can make them darker so you can see them better. See, but the reason why I make light marks is because if I make a mistake, I can easily erase it and it won't leave a mark on the page. But my goal is to make this picture here kind of not that good better. Um, that's what I'm doing today. I love this part. I call this part Cutler's theme because the first time you hear this is when Cutler is fighting and running from the guards with Beck. So I call it Cutler's theme even though it's rescuing the re uh, rebellion. Da, 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 da. Um, we're going to start drawing her hood there and we're going to start drawing her shoulders. I'm going to draw our neck here. Uh, it looks bad. That, that does not look good. How did I make it look so good in that picture? Oh my gosh. 
All right. Okay, she kind of has her disc up here, like this. So we're going to draw her arm like that. She has her other shoulder here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing light again. She has her other shoulder here. This is what we got so far. Um, she has her arm kind of like that. And there. See? Can you see the resemblance now? Kind of. See how we're getting kind of there? But yeah, the Toronto Uprising soundtrack just came out this Tuesday. I was so happy. I thought I was going to explode because I love the soundtrack and I never thought I'd be able to hear it without having the dialogue of the episode in it. But um, they finally released it and I was like, yay! So the very night it came out, I just like, rushed to the computer and bought it and put it on my mp3 player and on my computer what oh sorry different song on my computer here we go back to Toronto Uprising this is called Compressed Space by Joseph Trepanese you can find it on iTunes or whatever I found mine on Amazon but you might have an iPhone or something and get your songs from iTunes alright so now we're going to complete the other side of her arm here. Um, I don't know if, if you can tell, but I've been try drawing Tron a whole lot. Like, I mean a whole lot. I, I draw Tron a lot. I'm going to stop saying that because I said that like seven times now. But anyway, it's sort of my hobby, almost. Drawing, making, writing fan fiction and fan art. And fan art with my fan fiction. Like this is right here. Um, and later I'm going to talk about shading and how to shade stuff because I have actually found a technique on shading stuff. So then, it, so then you can like tell her arms from like if if like her sleeve touches her body here, you can kind of tell where her sleeve is still. I'll show you on shading and outlining things on how to be able to do that because Tron is a tricky thing to draw Tron stuff because. It, it's just like the shading is so out of whack and it can be difficult to draw it so once I'm done drawing her I'm gonna I'm gonna draw her fist here her knuckles see I'm, I'm not very good at drawing fists I, I don't know why I, I'm still trying to kind of figure that out maybe you guys have suggestions So there we go. I'm going to draw her sword. Because she has a light sword, kind of like what Korra had in the movie. Let's see, how long is that sucker? Goes from here to about there. Got it. And when I first drew, when I drew the original, it just kind of like, I was just wanted to draw something. So I started drawing, and it turned out to be a Tron scene, and... It was just kind of improvised, and it turned out kind of good, but the, the boxes around their faces was confusing, and everyone was just like, what the heck is going on? So I, st I just decided to edit that. Um, so now I'm going to draw her hand holding the, her disc. Um, I, I haven't really quite mastered hands holding the disc yet either. It's, just, it's sort of a tricky thing to draw, but um, first I start with the disc, of course. I hear, I figured how, how big the disc has to be. I almost, sometimes I have to picture my actual drawing, placing the disc on their back and, back and see how the disc fits on their back, size-wise. Hard thing to picture, but I can actually do that sometimes. Um, and sometimes, if I need to, I'll actually pose for myself. Like some of um, like some of my pictures, I'll pose and then look in the mirror and see how I how I'm doing it. That's how I do, that's how I learned how to draw someone leaning against the wall casually. Is I I pose in front of a mirror and I just looked and saw what I looked like. Now this is uh, one of my best hands holding a disc. You can't really see it that well. That's one of the best times I've drawn a hand holding a disc. I'm gonna see if I can do that now. I probably can't, but. I'll see if I can do that now. Ah, 
I love the Toronto Pricing soundtrack. Okay, so now we're gonna draw her fingers. Ah, that wasn't that bad, was it? That's not too bad, is it? Uh, actually, it could be a bit better. Well, anyway, um, after two or three years of drawing Tron stuff, I, I guess I'm that obsessed. Well, anyway, after two or three years of drawing Tron stuff, I actually found it quite e find it quite easy. Thanks to Tron, I've actually learned how to draw people, kind of by myself, kind of by my, um, kind of by my sister, because she she um she can draw people really good. She kind of taught me. She's like, okay, you need to make that bigger, that taller, that longer, and stuff. And I kind of learned how to draw draw people because of my sister teaching me. So I want to I want to say thank you, big sister, for teaching me that. Big sister of the grid, I guess you'll call her. Like we have Tron Cat of the Grid, Tron Hero of the Grid, which is me. And then I guess Big Sister of the Grid. <laughs> so thank you, Big Sister of the Grid. If you are actually watching my video, which you probably aren't because you're busy doing something else. Because, yeah. I'm getting random. How the heck did I do that? Seriously, how did I, how did I do that last time? Sometimes if I'll get draw something really good and then I can't remember how I drew it and then it and then it just drives me practically insane because I can't figure out how I did it really good the last time. I'm gonna make her fingers a bit bigger, that for one thing. Her thumb's too skinny, but who cares? I don't care really. See her now her thumb looks too small. I don't know if you can see that, but her thumb looks oh, way too small. Way, 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 way too small. Also for her hands, uh, it, it's hard to draw hands like this. So, um, especially proportion correctly. So if you, if you draw the hand and just picture them slapping themselves in the face, and if the hand is able to cover their face, then you know it's big enough. But if it's t um, if you know it's going to cover their face and half their head, then you know it's not. Um, then you know it's too big. If it's not going to cover their face at all. You know it's too small. That's I think I got that from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, because I remember something in there. I didn't really, I haven't read it in years, and I wasn't even that interested. I just remember someone slapping themselves in the face, and their hand covered their whole face, and that's how I got that. And also, I didn't slap myself in the face, but I put, face, but I put my hand on my face, and um, it was about the right size. Um, that, that's not my best disc I've ever drawn. It's kind of uneven, but um, it's as good as it's going to get now. Um, so. Now, drawing ladies, I figure out females are harder because you have to kind of, well, get their bodies right, I guess. And it can be kind of hard to do that. Okay, I, I messed up on that. She's kind of leaning. So, I love the song. I'm ruining it. I'll stop now. Okay. See, she's kind of leaning, avoiding the guard's disc here. That's what that is right there, is the guard's disc that she's leaning to avoid. Skirt's gonna, her um, coat's going to kind of flare out some, like so. Wow, this is actually turning out better than I thought it would. I mean, look at that. That's that's actually kind of awesome. Draw. Yeah, I have the song memorized because I've listened to it several times now. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to make that go down like this. Because that's how our coat goes. So I can miss it. missing all the action. There we go. I have a shading technique, but I did not use it correctly in this. This looks just awful in the shading. I, I did not shade it well. And her hood's darker than the rest of her. This part of her sleeve's too dark. I just made it too dark. So that's why it didn't work that well. Um, so I'll have the emblem, because, you know, she's the renegade, so... Well, not the renegade, but helping the renegade. So I have to draw the emblem. Whoops. There we go. I love this song. 
There we go. Drawn. I love this song. I'm sorry, I have to sing along with songs sometimes. Now I usually ruin it when I do. So I'll stop. Alright, we got the emblem done. We got our base. Now we have to get our legs. Figure out how much her coat's gonna cover her legs first. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Now, first leg shooting out like this. This song has such a good beat. It's catchy. See? With her leg turning out pretty much like that. But I think better, in a way. Her other leg like this, kind of supporting her balance. And wh what's really cool is this character, Mercuria, is actually based on me in a way. Like she has my similar personality. She had, uh, she has similar looks. You can't really see it now because of the helmet. But she looks similar to me. But um, that's kind of the idea of forming an avatar for your imagination is. So then you can do basically in your mind you can do stuff. That you usually can't do like yourself. Like I right here, I probably wouldn't even be able to do this. Okay, I probably wouldn't be able fast enough to dodge a disc like she's doing right here. Probably wouldn't even be able to do a simple karate kick like she can do. But that's the like I said, that's the awesome thing about making people making avatars. You know what? Her knee needs higher. I mean, it's like. She has a big old long sign. It's like beep, little knee. So I'm gonna have to make that bigger. So I have to. Ah! I dropped my other sketchbook. I'm sorry. I have to kind of bob. The song is cool. Oh, I'm singing again. Sorry. Ah, much better. Much, much better. Yeah. Actually, it looks kind of like she's doing the pee-pee dance, but... But, that's because I haven't drawn any enemies just yet. Let me put this back on my lap. Alright. So now we've basically got her done. Um, we have to work on the hood to make it work. Like this. So... And we've got background because I've only bought three of the songs. I haven't bought in all of them. I'm resisting. I have to sing it to it. I have to resist. Resist! Sorry. But now we've kind of got a person here. I'm going to make it taper this down just a little bit. There we go. We've got a little more realistic hoodie. Alright. Now she has a bit from the old system that she kept. I'm going to draw Betty here. That's what she named it, Betty. Bits for me are really simple to draw, just kind of do this. And then shade it in kind of gray. And you've got yourself a bit. She has, she has a right hand bit. Her cat is almost always on the left side. Here's um different. I know this is kind of opposite for what I usually do. I put the bit on the left side and the cat on the right side. I got that confused. Usually the bit's on the right side and the cat's on the left side. I also got that confused here too, so nope, I got Diddy and the cat on the same side. Heh. <laughs> Alright. And also, as you may see, like, just kind of has that ghost tail thing going on. Like I said, she's made out of pixels and light particles. So when she jumps or runs fast, the pixels are kind of falling behind her and uh, falling behind her in sort of a trail. And so they can't really make her back legs that well because she's running so fast. and. Their pixels are trying to keep up with her. Ah! There you go. So. So 
sorry about that. Uh, our, my computer went on screensaver, and I'm recording this from the webcam. So now we're going to make her sword handle a little longer. I made that a little too short. So whoop, longer. And finish the handle there. Um, this I'm going to color in um, as black as I can make it. Because this is going to be on top of her dark gray suit. And I will need to be able to see it. Like so. There we go. Um, I'm going to finish her sleeve. Which kind of goes like that on her arm. And there we go. She has like two sleeves. This is her normal Tron sleeve. I'm going to put a little design there. It's her normal sleeve that she wears with a battle grid suit, and then here's this over the top of it. She has sort of um, this, on, um, this design on it. Sort of, like that. Um, I'm going to draw this on the edge of her coat, kind of like what Kevin Flynn had in Tron Legacy. Kind of has a little light inside. I'm going to draw it back here. There we go. Get her neck better. Can make her seam just a little darker. Like so. The seam of her coat just a little darker. Because, like I said, we're going to shade this in. Well, you know that, um, like her arm right here, I know that this is going to be in the shaded area. So I always make the lines just a bit darker. So then you can tell her arm from her rest of her body. Um, like I made this line right here, I made that darker because I know her legs like that. I'm going to draw a Tron design at her heel, like I saw is kind of popular. I didn't put any Tron designs on her legs here, but I'm going to do it here because she actually does wear Tron designs. Here we go. Here's the edge of her coat here. She wears it kind of like this. Goes down and kind of goes like that. Like that. Same here. So now that we've got Tron designs in and her body drawn, now we're going to draw her cat, which I'm actually going to draw on the right side with Biddy because not only did I do it like lit in this picture, but um, also because there's more room over here because I did not put enough room for a cat over here. Enough room for me to comfortably draw a cat. I guess I can draw her better than I did there because that's just not the best time I've drawn her. I'm not usually used to drawing cats running from the front side. Her ears are flat. She's angry. Like so. I think I made her head too big. Unless, oh, wait, you know what? How about this? Since her head's going to be kind of big, I'm going to make the rest of her kind of big, bigger than usual. So then she'll be kind of like she's in um, um, in front of Mercuria here. She's closer to the guard. I just thought of that because I'm brilliant. So there we go. Her mouth is open. Now, the reason why I shaded her eyes in dark is her eyes aren't usually like this. Her eyes are actually navy blue. She has navy blue eyes. So then we can be able to tell it from the rest of her neon Tron blue body. So is her nose. I'm going to shade her nose in. No, this is not my best picture of Electris. That's the cat's name. That does not look like angry eye. There we go. There we go. Draw her eyes. But yeah, she has navy blue eyes with light blue pupils. Like this. I know the things I think up. I have a I have a strange I imagination. So we'll go like that. 
No, this is not my best picture of her. This is a horrible picture of Electris. This is my best picture ever, right here. That's my best picture of Electris. Here's my worst. Like, the rest of her face is okay. This her mouth, I can't get her mouth to go right. That's probably as good as I'm going to get it right there. And have her face go in. And have her mouth in. Because she's a mean kitty. Give her some whiskers. Because even though she's a digital light particle cat, she's got whiskers. <laughs> um, her chest. I'm going to pause. That's terrible. That, that's cartoony. That is cartoony. See if I don't show her jumping like here. Like I did in this picture. I'm going to show her running instead. And remember, I've never shown the cat running from the front view before. Probably going to look terrible. Let's see? Ha! <laughs> that looks awful! Too long legged. Well, oh, what is that? I, I have to come on my computer because I don't remember that. I'm just going to go back to Rescuing the Revolution. Re Rebellion. That's my favorite one from the Tron Uprising soundtrack. Other than Beck Betrayed, but I didn't buy that one yet. Shot two at drawing her paws. See, that just looks goofy. That's just goofy. I want this to be epic, not goofy. Okay, then, while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to draw the enemies disc. I think I made her arm too long. Another thing is, to get the arms right, picture them laying their arm down by their side. If their fingers touch, like, the middle of their thigh, right, about right here, then um, you had the arm correct length. I picture her laying her arm down, her hands going right about here, which is like just slightly longer than it should be, but that doesn't matter because usually you can't tell. I draw the enemy's disc here. See, enemy's disc. I'm going to show where it flew, which is right through here. Kind of like what John Betrayal did, showing where the white disc flew. Oh, that looks terrible. Wow, I've, this new video is almost 30 minutes long now. Oh, man. I, I Thank you, those of you who have stayed with me long enough to watch this. Uh, I, I'm sorry this is like super long, I t but I think I told you at the beginning of the video, it takes me a while to draw people. It is actually the fastest I've drawn someone. Or well, one of the fastest. I've drawn people pretty fast before. If I want to. That looks like you throw your cat bolt at him. That's not good. It's like, I am an evil guard from Clue. I will throw a kitty food dish at you. Yeah. 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 I'm going to draw this disc better. Perfect. Now, just like in the picture, right here, I'm going to show it swooping around here. Booyah. Alright, I'm going to color the top of it black, like so. I don't know how I was able to get this to look like an actual disc in this picture. If you look hard, it looks just like an actual disc. I'll make this line darker so you can see. See? Looks like an actual flying disc. This looks like... It does look stupid, but... Nah. See? It could be better. I'm gonna make these lines darker.
I like the song Compressed Space too. So then we can kind of tell where the disc is flown. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna still shade in this part of her arm, and it's gonna leave it kind of lighter than the others because that's the light from the disc swerving. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna draw a line down her sword. Voila! All right. Now let's see if we can finish drawing Electris. I don't care if it looks goofy anymore. I'm just gonna draw a pause. There we go. And then run the rest of her body, kind of trying to uh, the rest of her pixels, trying to follow her behind her. Her claws are out. All right, this guard. Because we're watching this from the view of the guard who just threw his disc. He's dead. Because Mercuria was trained by Tron. Like Beck was. Only more hardcore. And she has been a survivalist in the Outlands after a, her mentor Tron got killed. So she's, she's tough, tough as nails. So... Yay! We got it drawn. Now it's time to start shading in. You're like, oh my gosh, how much longer? Well, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Don't worry. So, um, I'm going to shade her helmet um, a bit darker than the rest of her outfit. I'm going to put sort of a shine thing right here. See? That shine area, I set that off as a shine area. Not the best place to put it, but I'm just trying to get done now because I I've carried this out way too long. So I'm gonna shade her in her helmet now. I'm gonna do it a bit darker than the rest of her outfit because I don't know, just cause. But um, if you manage to get all the sh shades in perfect, uh, uh, shades in like the darker, the lighter, and making the, the outline darker in some areas than others, you'll get it just right. But this one, I kind of messed up. I mean, I, like, really messed up on this one. So, here's your chin. Maybe next time I'll draw something that's not Tron. Maybe I'll draw something more fantasy than sci-fi. Here, I'll move my shadow. There. So, I got her head, co um, helmet co colored in. Um, what, what should we shade in next? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Um, let's start with her sleeve. I don't know why I I'll just start with her sleeve. Sleeve. I have, I use the tip of the pencil, like I did here, and put some pressure, and just kind of like quickly move it back and forth like this, and just like lightly press on it to get that darkish gray color. Because I don't, I usually don't color the program suits black. I usually color them kind of gray. Because for one, this is a pencil I'm working with, a number two pencil. I think it's number two, it doesn't say. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. I just like, I couldn't find my pencil I was going to use for this video, which was another number two pencil, same kind of pencil that you would use for homework. But since I couldn't find it, I just picked up the next pencil I found, which was this silly Valentine's Day pencil. And who knows how many years old this thing is. Well, anyway, it seems to be working pretty fine, though. Um, I'm going to color the background in. Like, here, I didn't color the background in. Oh, you know what? The ground. I forgot to draw the ground behind her. There we go. The ground! Yay! I got it kind of uneven, but who cares? Because we're trying to get done. Um, so we're going to keep on coloring. Note, note how I'm holding the pencil. And yes, I'm a left-handed person, but note how I'm holding the pencil. I'm not holding it here. This is, like, for writing. But for coloring in areas like this, I kind of hold it like this. And kind of move it quickly and lightly to get this nice gray color. Alright. I'm going to avoid coloring in the areas I have set aside for Tron Designs. And um, we've got part of her done. Check it out. Um, from her actual suit, I'm going to color it a little darker so we can tell apart from um, her coat. But just only a little bit darker. I'm going to make the outline of her hand a bit darker here. So, yeah. See that? It's harmonizing. This was just kind of sloppily shaded in, like, kind of like this. Here I got it nice. 
for a um, large amount of areas, I would hold the pencil like this, and then rub the edge of the pencil like this. Just kind of go like that. For background. Kind of like lightly shading background. Because I don't want to make it too dark, because I'm lazy. I'm just kind of lazy about that, and also, um, because it won't harmonize quite right. I haven't figured out quite how to won't harmonize quite right with the rest of this. So um, now it's trying to get her hood. Kind of like like hold it near the middle of the pencil and just kind of like do quick little sh quick white strokes. I love this song. I love it. I don't know why. That's probably why I bought it. Oh, of course that's why I bought it because I like it. Sorry. I'm 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 being ranty and mo monologuing and who knows what else. Just I'm random sometimes and I usually just kind of go in circles if I'm just talking to an audience through a camera and they're not talking back like this. I'll just start being random. I'm going to color the inside of her hood darker than her helmet. Like pitch black because the inside of her hood's dark. See? So and we can um I wish it wasn't so grainy, but you can kinda see um the pic um a character coming out of this now. I'm gonna color that in darker right here. And lightly color that in. And avoid going round and round like this. Unless you're doing like like this. Avoid going round and round. Try going up and down with your pencil and going with the grain. Um, like for me the grain for this is upside down or side to side. I usually go up and down, cause it, I guess because it covers more area for me, I guess. Color that darker here. Uh, just kind of go, like, go up and down. Don't go in circles, because circles will make it seem kind of sloppy. If you're drawing a Tron program like this. Dubstep! So. Um, she's almost done, people. Bear with me here. She's almost done, even though I, this is going to be like a 45 minute video or something like that. She's almost done. This is the longest video I've ever uploaded, people. Longest one. I should get a re reward for this, because this is like the longest video ever. Um, just kind of lightly go up and down on her thing here. And uh, right now I'm trying to keep the shading the same for her coat. And try to keep it as smooth as you can. And if um, if you want to, if you don't want to keep that kind of scribbled in look, I like this. I'll show you when I'm done coloring it in. And it's sort of, you do like what you do with charcoal, basically, is you rub it in. Which is weird. Like, why would I rub in a two uh, number two pencil? But it, it works. It does. Make that darker here. The song is brilliant. They have a good beat and everything. So yeah, as you may see, drawing, um, it took only 20 minutes for me to show a how-to video on the cat. It's taken me like 40 to 45 minutes to do a video. It's not even a how-to video, it's just me commentarying on my own drawing. But it kind of gives you a basic idea on what to draw and how. I guess, like, if you want to draw a program, but... Or a person, and you're not sure how. Um, I suggest starting from the head down because I'm uh, starting from the head down because it seems easier that way. Because then you kind of know something you don't have to. I don't know. I, I, it just seems easier going from the head down. And like I said, I'm gonna make her Tron suit darker than her coat here, just cause we can tell them apart. And I think the Tron suits look better if they're colored in kind of dark like this. I'm gonna make. Now I'm just gonna reinforce this line here. Doesn't look like it's doing much, but trust me, when I color this other leg, um, I can tell where the boundary is. It's hard to kind. It's kind of hard to see with the grainy camera, but you you, because this camera is just a terrible camera. It's not an HD webcam or anything. Here, there. See. Now we can kind of tell those two legs apart. 
I had to kind of move my shadow. Oh, there we go. Sorry, screen went on screensaver again. We're almost done here. Bear with me. Let's cover this in. I'll lightly shade it in. Lighter than the outside because this is kind of glowing on the inside. So kind of lighter than the outside. It glows the outside maybe a little bit darker. Oh, her other arm! She forgot to do her other arm! Oh my gosh! And her disc. But yeah, if you just um kind of... Here, I'm going to do side to side. Sorry. I'm going to get back to... Um... How about this? It's not Tron. It's like Kalimba Ninja Tuna Mr. Scruff or whatever. It came with my computer, so I don't know. But it's it's pretty groovy. See? It, it's pretty groovy. It came with a computer, so I don't know where the heck it is from. I'm gonna get an arm here. I remember how I noted that since the path right here. We're gonna color this in. Um, we're just gonna barely touch the pencil to the paper and kinda color that in lighter, see? But you can still kinda see the shading there. Um, here we go. I'm gonna color her head maybe a little bit darker. Um, so here we go. We got it drawn. Um, like I said, if you want it to be a smoother color, just kind of run your finger along it. I'm gonna do that for this picture. But you, um, I advise that you wash your hands after you do this because just like charcoal, it makes your finger black. So I, I suggest you wash your hands after you rub pencil or charcoal in or anything in art wise that um matter of fact. And if you get any rub marks or you don't want it, like if you accidentally let's say get a pen uh smudge there, you can just e easily erase it like this. Now final touch is the background. You're gonna just, we're gonna hold the pencil kinda like this. See? And we're just gonna kinda lightly go like this. Just kind of give the background a darker feel because, well, we're in the Tron world, it's, it's going to be dark. But, um, this is basically it. Oh, her disc. Oh my gosh, I nearly forgot. It's going to color that in pretty dark, too. I usually avoid coloring in dark like this because I usually get kind of sloppy when I color in dark like this. But I'm going to do it now just because... I do a lot of stuff in my art just because... I used to just doodle. Wow, it's been like 43 minutes now. Well, we're almost done, people. We're almost done. I'm going to kind of color that in now. No. Oh, there you go. A lot of times, how you hold the pencil will affect how, how it will look. Like how I'm holding the pencil now will kind of make it look like this. I'm going to color it in lighter here. Ground, I'm going to do put a little more pressure on the ground. And then we can kind of tell, tell the ground from the sky. Go around the cat here. There we go. Now, I bet you people, a lot of people will draw a whole lot better than I do. But I'm just kind of a beginner. It takes years of practice to be able to draw pretty good. And there we have it. Booyah! We got it done. Yeah! That is a pretty picture. Wow, evil cat. Okay, so yeah, that was random. So, I got my Tron picture done. I wish you could kind of see things a bit better, but since my um, camera shows stuff kind of grainy, it's, well, not that good. But um, here's just an example of what I can do with people. Here's the original. Kind of compare. So, um, actually, how about let's, let's do this in the comments. Just say which one's your favorite. Do you like this one better? The, uh, from the guard's view with the darker shading 
and your guard analyzing it, or do you like it better here with just no guard analyzing it? So, say which one you like better. Let's call this one A and this one B. So, if you like A better, just say A in the comments, and I'll understand. If you like B better than the one we did today, then say B in the comments. And let's see who wins. It probably won't um, be much because not many people watch my videos, but all right. This is uh, Tron Hero of the Grid, and I hope you enjoyed watching this 43 and 37 second boring video of me drawing a Tron person. Um, please watch my other videos, and in some of my videos, there's a link to my website, which I haven't edited in like three months, so I need to edit that again because I, I just haven't edited in three months. And now I am babbling, so I'm going to go. Um, you guys have a good day, and, and watch more of my videos. Um, so see you later.